What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Lawn Surgeon. And as you can see, it's about that time. 53 hour, 53.4 hours. Um, this um, lawnmower recommends that you change the oil every 50 hours, but because I'm using it for uh, commercial purposes, um, as y'all know, this is a residential lawnmower. I change it every 25 hours just to, uh, you know, keep everything fresh. So I just hit uh, 53 point, what is that, 53.5 hours. I just finished cutting my grass, as y'all can see. The camera focus, and so I'm gonna go ahead and get this bad boy drained out. Alright, if you didn't see my last video, first thing you want to do is you want to have a pan. I got this um, drain pan from um, Pep Boys. And um, you want to get you a, a clamp to put on here or something to hold it. And then I'll use a uh, socket wrench to actually screw the actual nut off. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that so I can let this bad boy drain out. And then move on to the next step. Yep, there you go. And it's best that you um, warm the engine up. That's why I cut my grass before I did this. So you can um, get the oil nice and thin and so it's not so thick and it'll drain out faster. All right, now we'll move on to the oil filter. All right, your next step is to get your oil filter off. Your oil filter should be hand tight. The last time I did this, um, I had to get a... a uh, oil filter wrench for my friend I still got it so I might have to use it hopefully not hopefully it's still hand tight and it's very hot so ouch 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 probably should use a rag but I'm already touching it so already burning my hand and I should have put a rag up under it it's draining oil out fantastic There you go. So, note, probably should put a rag up under it like I did last time to catch any loose oil. That's your oil filter. I got my new one. All right, now that you got your old filter out, you want to double check your um, parts number and make sure that this is the correct filter for your lawnmower. As you can see, this filter, this is my old filter, 12050. 01 and this is the same filter 12050001 so just make sure because you know sometimes they have off brand ones <clears throat> the off brand ones work good too but you know it's always recommended to use the the recommended parts uh, so do what you feel uh, also what you want to do now is you want to take the new filter and you want to fill it with oil. I fill it about halfway. You can see in there. I fill it about halfway and then you make sure you want to put some oil around the seal right here. Just to get it uh, get it started. And then you put it on. Alright. Now that you have your rag down, which I should have did it in the first place. And you have your oil filter prepped. Go ahead and put on your oil filter and you have your okay and make sure that your make sure you're drain drained out all the way. Of course I am. And go ahead and apply your oil filter. And, and like I said, your oil filter should be hand tight. Mm, come on. There we go be hand hand tight you don't want to you can use a wrench but you don't want it to be too tight because then it's gonna be hard to get off Bam. 
All right, once you got your um, oil filter on and you got all your oil drained out, I'm gonna go ahead and put your plug back in. All right, now comes the fun part, filling it up with oil. Some um, lawnmowers will have a, uh, a ounce amount on here that will tell you how much to fill it up to. It was mostly push mowers. But uh, of course mine does not. I don't know if that's the ounce or what that is, but it just says do not overfill. Thanks a lot, Troy Belt. But yeah, if it has the ounce amount, it's probably best just to get a uh, measuring cup so you can fill it up to the exact amount so you won't overfill it. You know, that's the best way to do it. But if not, you just have to try to eye it. Just pour a little bit in and keep getting it up until you get to the correct amount. All right, let's get to it. All right, now that you got this bad boy filled up, you want to go ahead, uh, give it a start and let it run for a couple minutes. Uh, let's see here. My next oil change. Let's get this up. Let's focus. Oh, not on. I guess my next oil change will be at about 75, 000, 75 hours. So, see y'all then. <laughs> 